Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP. In today's video, we are going to discuss about how to change look and feel of a SharePoint site by using the out of box feature. So in this particular example, we will see how to change look and feel in terms of the theme, header and navigation. Apart from that also, I will show you how to change a theme whatever the out of box themes are presented there in the modern sharepoint sites so how we can apply a theme and we will be able to see the changes as well so for this what i will do is i'll open a sharepoint site so let me go and open a sharepoint site okay let me tell you before that i have also created a complete tutorial on that so same step by step i have uh, mentioned it how to do these things so you, i'll put the link in the video description and you can have a look at this now look at this uh, SharePoint site. So by default, this is a SharePoint site which I have created using a team site template. And uh, to change the look and feel, if you click on this gear icon or the settings icon, then you can see there is a option which is saying change the look. So click over here and you will see these three things which I was talking about. First one is the theme, header and navigation. So in the theme, if you click on that, you can see this is the current selection of theme and this is your company uh, theme and uh, these are the SharePoint themes which Microsoft has provided for us. Now for example, I will choose this, uh, this orange theme. So then I will click on save. So once you click on save, you'll, it will become an orange theme. So you can see here. So mainly the font and everything becomes orange color you can see here. Now this is what is the orange color theme. So again I will go to the theme and uh, if you will click on this you can also customize this. So if you will click over there then this is the uh, color you can see. You can change these colors as well. So let's say I will change to green color and I can change uh, this to any, any other color as well. So, that also we have the option to change it so um, that we can do it and if you click on save then it will save so you can see the uh, this this has been changed this uh, links has been changed and if i'll go to now to change the click again and the second option we will see here is the header so if you will click on header we have different header layout that you can selected for example if you click on minimal you will be able to see how this header is behaving so this is the compact look if you have a standard so you can see the little bit bigger and if you click on extended you can see here there is a bar also which is coming over here and uh, why it is coming this this one is coming over there in the center because i have changed the logo alignment you can see here there is a logo alignment also which you can change it so now the other things that it provides is the background theme you can see if i'll let's say i'll select this you can see how my header is changing the color is changing in the same way um, we can also give a background image so that will appear here in this section uh, then there is a display on the visibility so let's say i don't want this title to be visible i can simply disable it you can see here if i'll turn off then this title is hiding the, at the same time we can also set a logo thumbnail for this uh, particular uh, uh, particular site and also we can set a logo for example i'll click on this i'll select this and you can see here the lo there is a logo has coming here so this is what is the logo that we are talking about and if you want to make it center you can see here it is coming over there and if you don't want this uh, site title you can do that as well and then you can click on save button you can see and now this changes has been saved here now if i'll go again change the look and header section we'll see another thing is this alignment i was talking about so you can make it to center uh, left center and right so this this way this uh, logo alignment we can do now um, if i'll go again there is a navigation this is quite important you can have the set navigation visibility if you want the navigation to be there if you will turn off you can see the navigation is going away so once you turn on we have two options one is horizontal and vertical so if, if it is vertical like this then there is no more other options are there if i'll choose horizontal you can see we have the option we can set mega menu or cascading menu both we have so let's say you set mega menu and you can click on save 
Now you can see here this is a mega menu uh, uh, navigation that we have set and uh, this is uh, basically if you see here we can also um, click on this edit button and if you are able to uh, let's say I will give this test and I will make a sub link you can see here now this test once I will click on save now this becomes a sub menu to this training document. So this is what is about uh, this uh, navigation thing that we discuss about it. So same way you can have the cascading um, also uh, that we can do. I'll, so this is how we can do the change the look feature that we can use. I'll show you one more thing uh, that is the apply a site template. So if you click on that Microsoft has provided a few templates that we can use uh, which will be having a look and feel of the particular uh, template that it is available here. Now two options are there. First thing is from Microsoft and from your organization. So in from your organization if you have any site template then it will come here. Else we have you can see here from Microsoft and let's say this one. So training and development team template. So click over here and you will be able to see here how it is appearing. And if you want to use these templates simply click over use this template and it will take some time and our site will become like that template you can see here how our site looks like now the navigation and all these things has been done here you can see so this is another thing that uh, you know we can use um, to change the complete look and feel of the a sharepoint site so this is how we can work with uh, the look and feel of a SharePoint site and if you want similar kind of videos then subscribe to our YouTube channel you will get a lot of free videos on SharePoint, Office 365, Power Platform, SPFX all these things you will get it regularly. So thank you and have a nice day.